Hello friends. Today we will do an example in which my bolt is under shear as well as under tension. So let us consider this situation. In this case, on this bolt, there are two forces that is acting. One force that is acting in this direction and another force that is acting perpendicular to the bolt. So this force is basically trying to pull this bolt. So this causes tension action. So there is a tensile force in this bolt. Another force basically that causes to sear this bolt and try to slip these two planes of the bolt. So this causes a sear action. So in this case, this bolt is under sear as well as under tension. So in the previous videos, we discuss how we can calculate or how we can check the adequacy of such kind of bolt and that can be seen in IS 800. So IS 800 gives a formula to check the adequacy of such bolts and this is given in clause 10.3.6. So this gives a empirical formula and that has to be satisfied if my bolt is safe. So this term is related to shear and this term is related to tension. Now if you see the different terms in this expression has given here so that is VSV is related to factored shear force and TB is factored tensile force. And similarly, VDB is the design shear capacity and TDB is the design tension capacity of the bolt. So basically in short, this formula is relating demand and capacity. So in the denominator, so this term and this term is basically related to capacity. And the numerator, that is this term, is related to demand. So here you see this two term, that is VSV and TV, is related to demand. And these two terms, that is VDV and TDV, is related to capacity. And these two capacity can be found or can be calculated using these two cloud, clouds. So with this introduction, let's do an example. So we have a column and a bracket and that is connected through bolts and there is a force of 250 kN that is applied to this bracket and the bolt diameter is given that is 20 mm diameter and the grade of bolt is also given that is 4.6 grade of bolts. Now if you see this connection from this side it will look something like this that is there are six number of bolts and you have a that is babe that is shown here in the dotted line so this is a i section so column is made up of a i section so we have to determine the accuracy of this fasteners or this connection adequacy of this fasteners so whether this connection is safe or not we have to check other things that is given so we have to assume that the strength of column flange and the structural t section do not govern the design so a steel is basically not going to govern the design it is the connection that is going to govern the design and also we have to neglect any prime forces if it is there on the bolt and uh, gusset plate uh, and the flange interface. So we have to neglect the prime action. So now if you see there are two parts of this problem that is first we have to calculate the demand and capacity and we have to check the adequacy using the codal provision. So let us first look at capacity part. So if I want to calculate the capacity, as I said earlier, you have to use two clouds that is using this clause 10.3.2 and 10.3.5, we can calculate the force 
inside this bolt that the maximum force that these bolts can take. We can also see some table, so some books give me the table and for this bolt, grade of bolt is given and the diameter is given, basically we can find the capacity of these bolts. So let's say for 20 diameter and grade of 4.6 bolt, the design shear capacity and design tension capacity is given. So we have 20 mm diameter. and 4.6 grade and for this bolt these two are given that is TDB that is the strength of bolt under tension that is given 66.6 .6 kilo Newton. So this is a strength of bolt under tension so this is equals to TDB and this is equals to 66.6 .6 kilo Newton in a similar manner we can also calculate the shear capacity of bolt using the clause that is given or we can find some table so if I use that table let's say this value is VDB that comes out to be 45.3 kilo Newton so this is a strength of bolt under shear so this is shear capacity that is VDB and this is 45.3 kilo Newton. So this is capacity part. Now we have to calculate the demand. That is the forces that is coming on this connection. So this force that we have applied 250 kilo Newton. So this will have one component in this direction. So this component is basically tension. So this is tensile component. And we have another component in this direction that is basically shear component. So if you see these force will try to pull these bolts and similarly this force will try to apply a shear action on these bolts. So we have to calculate these two forces on each bolt this angle theta is given to us so this this distance is 3 unit this distance is 4 unit and this distance is 5 unit so now we can calculate tension force as well as shear force so if you see the total tensile force so we can say total tension force This will be equals to P cos theta and P is 250 kilo Newton and in this case cos theta is nothing but 4 by 5. So this is 200 kilo Newton. Now this is distributed on 6 bolts. So if you remember this is the bolt configuration. So you have 3 bolt this side and 3 bolt this side. So basically there are 6 bolts. So we can calculate tension force on each bolt. So we can calculate tension force on each bolt or one bolt or a single bolt. So this will be 200 divided by 6 that is 33.33 kilo Newton. And this is nothing but TB. So if you see symbol, so symbol for this is TB. Now similarly we can calculate total shear force. Total shear force in this case. Now this will be P sine theta. So if you see this diagram, 
the component of this force in this direction is nothing but p sin theta and p is given that is 250 and sin theta is 3 by 5 so this becomes 150 kilonewton so now we can calculate force on a single bolt force on a single bolt so this is 150 divided by 6 so this turns out to be 50 kilo newton so this is basically shear force and in terms of symbol this is nothing but bsb so we have calculated all the four terms that is related to capacity and that is related to demand now we can check the adequacy of this board that is we have to satisfy this equation bsb divided by vdv whole square plus tv divided by tdv whole square and this has to be less than equals to 1 so the different term that we calculated we can plug here so let's find the value of this expression that is nothing but VSB just we calculated this is 25 and VDV that is the capacity that is 45.3 we have found this value from the table and then TDTB value basically we calculated that is 33.33 and the respective capacity is 66.66. .66. So if I calculate this value, this turns out to be 0 0.56, which is less than, basically less than or equal to 1. So this means I can say my connection is safe. So this is a safe connection. Connection is safe. Or in other words, we can also say the 6 bolt of grade 4.6 and diameter 20 mm is sufficient to provide resistance to this connection. So to summarize, in this lecture we have seen how we can check the adequacy of a bolt that is under tension as well as under shear. In that case we have to use code to satisfy certain equation and this equation requires calculation of demand and calculation of capacity. We calculate the capacity using the codal provision and the demand we calculate using the analysis. So we can stop here and we will see some more in the next video. Thank you.